Oh. Hey guys, Cheryl Gamer here. This is Jedi Point the Gamer. And today we are doing the finale of Undertale. Yes. So, yeah. if you remember last video, you couldn't really hear any of our voices. That's because I accidentally did not have the microphone on when I was recording last time. So this time the microphone is on, it's working, and we're gonna go at this. So let's go into the throne room of Asgore's castle and see what happens. Alright. Let's go. Dumb, dumb. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I almost finished watering these flowers. Okay. Right. Here we are. How? How can I? It's us. This really yeah, that's the king. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But you know how it is. Yeah, um, if you remember. If you remember in our last video, Alfie's told us that um, in order to cross the, the barrier, um, it requires the power of both a human soul and a monster soul, meaning that we have to kill Asgore and take his soul in order to cross the barrier. And right the yeah. underground. Yeah, in order to at least make it through the barrier. Yes. Yeah, and as we know, Asgore like is wanting to destroy the barrier by killing any human that comes in the underground so we can obtain the power of seven human souls to have the power to destroy the barrier and destroy human and destroy humanity. Yeah. So monsters can live freely on the surface. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Oh, we're ready already. Alright, so we can look around here. So this is his throne room. Looks like a nice garden of golden flowers. This guy really likes golden flowers, doesn't he? Yeah, he really does. It's a throne. What's this? It's another throne covered by a white sheet. A white... Another throne? What does that mean? You won't think. There have also been a queen at some point. Alright. Let's go ahead and save here. Actually, I'm not sure if it's the best idea to save because I'm not entirely sure. If, we can't see the timer on this with the fact that this is on full screen, so I'm not entirely sure if this is recording or not. Yeah. So, this is a bit of a risky move. But I'm just going to save progress. What? Well, yeah, it, we did see the screen get brighter. Yeah, on full screen, we do see the screen get brighter. So we do kind of know that it is recording. Okay, next. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. A visit to the dentist. How could approaching the barrier be a trip to the dentist where we're going to have to kill a king? How is that a trip to the dentist? Are you ready?
ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Okay, so this is our last save point. Well, he's not ready yet, but he's not... He doesn't want, like, you know, he doesn't want to die, and, like, he knows that either one of us, either me or him, is going to die in this final battle. So this is our last save point. Yes. Alright, let's go. I didn't even have to ask if you were ready to head forth yet. Whoa. Is that the barrier? This is the barrier, uh, yes. That's my, my question was the answer. Yep. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be something like the Endless Staircase from Super Mario 64. You know about that, right? Where yeah. it just keeps, it's just like endless and you just keep going and going and you don't take the pathway that leads to the surface and the only way to reach yeah. the end of it is by, ha as Alfie's mentioned, having the power of a human soul and a monster soul. In which, of course, it can only be destroyed with the power of seven human souls. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. So, this is our last chance. We can either start the fight or we can quick go back and if there's anything we want to do, we can do that now before we begin. Let's go for it. You ready? Yes, let's fight out. Let's go. I see. This is it then. That's right, this is it. Ready? Those are the, the six souls he already has, and he has a container ready for us, too, so... One of us is gonna die. But wait, the twilight is shining there. I didn't see the first one. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination! Let's go. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh! Oh, gee oh, jeez, there is no mercy here, is it? No, there's not. Alright, Asgore attacks. So, we're gonna- we're gonna check, of course. We always gotta check. Asgore 80 attack 80 attack. So yeah, so, there is- Oh, jeez, I got hit by that. Yep, almost perfect there. Attack, orange attack. You know the attacks, right? Blue is, don't move with oranges. Oh, almost critical. Huh? 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 bad to him. He's unleashing a lot of fire attacks. As well as that other attack where he fired his trident at us with blue and orange attacks. This in my opinion is probably his hardest to dodge attack. Although I just dodged it. Oh, okay, I got hit by that one. That's fine, we still have plenty of HP, or, yeah, we still have plenty of HP. Alright, so, I'm good at this game, so I'm good at avoiding his attacks. Go. And we 
also have plenty of items to go in our inventory if, if we... Oh, 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 yeah, that was great. Go, he's halfway down. Let's attack again. Oh, I... Right. Oh. Yeah. That's yeah, gonna be us. Yeah. We aren't, we aren't gonna let you destroy humanity. Even though we kinda don't wanna kill you. We can't let you do this. Uh, yeah, the gear we have to purchase is the Stain Danger, remember, which is a item that every other turn restores 1 HP. Okay. Oh, oh. What? As far as low HP, we're getting close. Okay, see, this is why it's hard to... Dodge. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, he's down to one HP. Uh, so that is how it is. I remember the day after my son died. Oh, this is what they were talking about. Mm -hmm. That's right, remember like the prince died because uh, the humans thought he killed their, um, the human child. And yeah. then they killed him and then he barely made it back to like the throne room and then died as thus spread across all the golden flowers. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon, the people's hopes returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen it again. Yes, there was a queen. The question is, though, who was that queen? Truthfully, I do not want power. I would actually sort of think you would, may have had a small idea on what the queen might be. Just to let you know. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. Is that him talking to us? Uh, yeah. This is him, like, talking about us. So in reality, with what he's saying, all he really wants is everyone to have hope. He doesn't actually want to destroy humanity. All he wants is just for them to have hope. And he started the war specifically because the humans took away their hope. And he managed to return them by declaring war on humanity. Wanting just to kill every human that came down. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Yes, young one. This war has gone, gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. All right, final choice. The mercy button is fixed, so you we can choose to do what he wants and finish him off and take his soul and leave this place or we can choose to spare him which i don't entirely know why we would want to so 
what will your final choice be? Will we be with Sans on doing what he says is the right thing? Or will we do what Asgore wants and put an end to him so we can leave and stop suffering in this place where everyone wants us dead? Final choice! What's it gonna be? Finish him off? Let's do it. Let's get out of here. That he doesn't want to have to suffer all this stuff. All he wants to be with now is his wife and see his child. And by doing what he's doing, he's not getting it. So, do you want to do it? Let's do it. Finished. All right, there it is. Let's take it and get out of here. Oh, oh you, Flowey! Oh, oh how, how dare you take away our freedom? <laughs> so you finally get it. In this world, it's kill or be killed. No, no, don't. Oh, he's absorbing the soul. Don't do it, Flowey. No, no. Okay. Hey guys, Cheryl Gamer here. And um, uh, if you're wondering what just happened, um, this is still the same video, by the way. Just let you know, because I'll just edit this together. But the game, Flowey just closed the game out on us, and now. Uh, uh, we opened the game back up, and now Flowey changed, like, everything. Like, he even changed the name of the file, like, the window to Flowey Tail. And now, uh, the file is called Flowey, and we're in a place called My World, and everything's at nine, or in the nine digits. So, um, let's see what exactly Flowey did to the system exactly. There's nothing here. Okay. There's nothing here. Flowey, what did you do? What did you do? For, oh, save point. Well, that must mean there's a some kind of boss fight against Flowey waiting for us, so he should probably save progress, yeah, right? Save. Yeah, so Flowey's in control of our game anyway, so let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Whoa! What? File erase? Okay. Well. How? Wow. Wow. The power. I think he is in control of the game. Yes. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old yeah, he's... Without skew, I never got... got past it. Oh, you don't want to Yeah, you're, you're annoying to doing this. But how is your help? Still. Okay. I got my human souls. For so long, it feels great to have a human. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. I can feel the wriggling. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my new found powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. <laughs> Probably. Oh, and forget about this game.
escaping to your old safe file, it's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend Lolly has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces. Over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Oh, All right, let's get him. You're going down. What is that? Mommy, what did you do to yourself? I was souls. What did you do, Flowey? Jeez. Oh, what? What happened to the pixelated graphics? That's like Photoshop. Oh, jeez. Oh, you got flamethrowers. You got flamethrowers. Oh, I just played. Oh, I'll play on the monkey. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. 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 Are the ballet shoes. So I'm guessing these. So um, the human souls. These are sort of like the items they had equipped. This this human had the uh, ballet shoes equipped, and probably like the old. Thing too. And I guess by it calling for help there, I guess it's like bad. That's not what we're doing, the souls still kind of have like an open ah! mind still. Um, a little bit. And I call it for help. Design. It's like just a bunch of like spammed Photoshop stuff. Okay, this guy, um, I believe has like, uh, like this orange notebook, which was the one that you could buy from like that. Okay, yes. Good life, belief, create dreams. Yes. Like all these 
I guess just do whatever we can. Every once in a while, the fight option seems to be showing up, and we're doing very little damage to it, though. So I guess we just have to keep going through the pack and keep calling for help. We just, like, totally annihilated the battle system of this game. All the, uh, I guess. <laughs> ah! and they're like responding to our call for help. Oh, there's the act option. It's real easy to just stay in like the, the center of the gun and like they'll instantly fire. Alright, yes. All the souls are on our side now. Okay, what's that gonna do? Yes, heal us. All the health. Give me it all. Alright, we're at full HP now. You're going down to my always defense drop to zero. Yes, I'm trying to deal with some good damage. Yes, let's fight him. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Save file three at the start of the fight, Denny. You idiot. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. No. He has the power to save file six. Oh, Did you really think that you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you, you're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. God, that's right. Your worthless friends can save you now. Call for help, I dare. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, Daddy, 
somebody help. See what good it does you. Okay, I guess we'll see what good calling for help is. Call for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Okay, well, what do we do now? We can't do anything. He's invincible. Oh, what? The souls are helping us. Oh, uh, what? Help? How'd you? Well, I'll just... Load failed. He lost his power to s save over us. Where are my powers? Yes! The souls? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! Yes, you can't do that! You're supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Alright, that's it. It's over. <laughs> we did it. Okay. The true final choice. Finish off Flowey or... Um, although he was quite the bad guy, I kind of want to support Sans this time in doing the right thing of killing him because someone like Cloudy could be waiting right now to finish off Cloudy just absorbed the souls all over the game, so just like when we killed Asgore, so might be a good idea to show him mercy yeah, this right. time. What are you doing? Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. I'm gonna spare everything out of you. If you let me live, I'll come back. No, you won't. I'll kill you. No, I just. Right, I. Just beat you. There's no way you'll be able to kill me, even with the power of the six. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Uh, yeah. He does. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I can't understand. I can't understand. It, it looks like he's starting to cry. I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. Well, so it looks like it's about to be in our game, isn't it? Right, and somehow, I guess Flowey, in control of the game, decided to take us to the other side of the barrier, because now, we're currently on the other side of the barrier, just to let you know, is where we are. Wait, that might be the barrier, you know? the barrier? Uh, no, that's it, we escaped. We escaped the underground. That's it, Undertale, by Toby Fox. Good game, Toby Fox, good game. Logo design, oh, Temi Chang. And yeah, these are title artists, Kenju, main artist, Mergo, Mongolia. The artist, music art, quest monsters, designs. The Photoshop Live Battle Code design, Ever, Ever Dread made that boss fight, everyone. He's the one that made that insanity. Oh, well, let's say we're back in control here, guys. Yep, yeah, the back. game is back to normal. Oh, our phone's ringing. Hey, Sans. hey, it's Sans. Are you congratulating us for making one final good choice? Do it. Is anyone there? Well, I'll just leave a message. It's been a while, huh? Things have gone pretty bad here. Everyone considered 
a leader disappeared overnight. It's gotten so quiet. I wouldn't really say though. I think that kind of wind is supposed to show like how empty the underground is from all the monsters we've killed. I think that's what this. There's a bad feeling hanging over everyone. Like everyone's just going to die here, trapped in the dark. I bet you're wondering why I'm not the ruler. Eh, I'm not cut out for something like that. I like to take it easy, you know? That's a joke. This is what happens when people like me take it easy. Hey, at least things are less crowded. With all the people you killed. Hope that was a good experience for you. Just kidding, I don't really... Well... Okay. Well, th Flowey, what are you doing now? Hey, since you defeated me, I've been thinking. Is killing things really necessary? I, I honestly don't know anymore. I have a request for you. Prove to me, prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Get here from the beginning without killing a single thing. And maybe then you'll have your so-called happy ending. So what will it be? Will you prove yourself? Or will you I get to watch you suffer? Either way, I'm interested. <laughs> That's really the end of the game. Well, that was the neutral ending. So, there are three different routes in this game, and we just took the neutral route where maybe we killed some monsters, but, like, not kill everyone, at least spare some. So, we got a neutral ending. There's two other routes in the game. There's... Um, the route that Flowey just suggested to us, the pacifist route, where we go through the entire game again without killing anyone. And then there's the genocide route, where we kill everything, like, to the point where we do grinding with killing until, like, there's nothing left to kill. Yeah, which the genocide route, just to let you know, is, like, the hardest route in the game. So, this is the true final choice of this game. We have three options here. We can do the route, we can try the route that Flowey suggested and um, take the pacifist route where we go through the entire game without killing anyone and maybe get a happier ending. Or option number two is we can take the genocide route uh, where we kill everything and get an even worse ending. Or your final option your third option is that we can just end the let's play here if you're if you think you might be a bit satisfied with this bad ending we got. You think you're satisfied that you left all the remaining monsters without hope? Uh, no. Just uh, take your time to think about it. We got. Okay, so I, I would kind of highly suggest the pass this route because it's like really. Okay, so yeah. Okay, because I it's actually really good. It's a lot better. Like you'll actually sort of like form like a relationship with some of the characters in that game, like some of the bosses that we face, and it's really good. And you'll see what I mean. So next time we play Undertale. We will begin the pacifist route, we will reset the game, and start all over. So, until next time guys, this is Cheryl Gamer, and we'll see you all next time. Bye!